friends i am back with the mathematics kit did you enjoy the two activities that i had performed in the last episode you sure did so which were the two activities an activity to understand the addition and subtraction of integers and another activity to understand the place value system and addition and subtraction of whole numbers and decimals do you want to learn more okay then let us recall the various kinds of angles that you know they are acute angle right angle obtuse angle straight angle reflex angle and complete angle you will be amazed to know that we can construct and measure all these different types of angles using this mathematics kit let me place this light colored sheet of paper to perform this activity from this kit we need two plastic strips a full protector and a screw from the small plastic box in the mathematics kit place one strip over the other and the protector on their top so that the holes are aligned together then slowly insert the screw in the holes and tighten the fly over the hole fix the first strip along the line marked from 0 to 180 degree on the full protector keep in mind the angles should be constructed by moving the second strip in the anti clockwise direction from the first strip we all know that acute angles are angles lying between 0 and 90 degree so let us try to make an acute angle move the second strip in the anti clockwise direction from the first strip to take any angle between 0 and 90 degree this is an acute angle it measures 60 degree now let us construct a right angle an angle that measures 90 degree is called a right angle so move the second strip in the anti clockwise direction from the first strip so that it reaches the 90 degree angle this is a right angle it measures 90 degrees do you want to try to make an obtuse angle yes an obtuse angle is an angle that lies between 90 and 180 degrees so move the second strip in the anti clockwise direction from the first strip to take an angle between 90 and 180 this is the obtuse angle let us try to measure the angle the angle is 130 degrees let us now try to make a straight angle a straight angle measures 180 degree so move the second strip in the anti clockwise direction to take the angle of 180 degrees this is a straight angle it measures 180 degree by now you should have known how to construct a reflex angle yes a reflex angle is an angle that lies between 180 and 360 degrees to make a reflex angle move the second strip in the anti clockwise direction to take any angle between 180 and 360 degrees this is the reflex angle it measures 290 degrees let us at last construct 
a complete angle. A complete angle is an angle that measures 360 degree. So, move the second strip in the anti-clockwise direction from the first strip again so that it takes the position of 360 degrees. This is the complete angle and it measures 360 degrees. Now that you have learned to construct and measure all the different kinds of angles, you would like to know something interesting? Using the same strips and protractor, we can also verify the relation between different kinds of angles formed when a transversal intersects a pair of parallel lines. For this activity, from the mathematics kit, we require three plastic strips, two full protectors, and a pair of screws from the small plastic box. Take two plastic strips in such a way that they are parallel to each other. Take the third strip and place it over the two strips so that it acts as a transversal. Then place the two full protectors over the strips like this. Notice that the holes are aligned at two different positions. Connect the strip with the protector using these fly screws to get something like this. Let us count the number of angles formed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we see that 8 angles are formed when a transversal intersects two parallel lines. To verify the relation between different angles, let us measure a few pair of angles. Measure angle 1. Angle 1 measures 80 degrees. Now measure angle 5. Angle 5 also measures 80 degrees. We see that angle 1 is equal to angle 5. This pair of equal angles is called corresponding angles. You know, we have three other pairs of corresponding angles. They are measure angle 2 and angle 6. Measure angle 3 and angle 7. Again measure angle 4 and angle 8. Eight. You will find that all these pairs of angles are also equal. Thus, we have four pairs of corresponding angles when a transversal intersects two parallel lines. You already know that angle 5 measures 80 degrees. If you measure angle 3, you will come to know that angle 5 is equal to angle 3. Also, angle 6 is equal to angle 4. These two pairs of equal angles are called alternate interior angles. Thus, we have two pairs of alternate interior angles when a transversal intersects two parallel lines. Now, let us see the angles which are at the same side of the transversal. Angle 5 measures 80 degrees and angle 4 measures 100 degrees. What sum will you get when you add angle 4 with angle 5? The sum comes out to be 180 degree. Measure angle 3 and angle 6. You will notice that the sum again comes out to be 180 degree. Thus, we infer that the angles made on the same side of the transversal will always have a sum of 180 degree if the lines are parallel. Now, did you notice that for these properties, I have always taken 
the strip to be parallel lines. Let us see what happens when the strips are not parallel, that is, when a transversal intersects two non parallel lines. For this, let me turn one strip. Now, you can observe that the two strips are not parallel. Measure angle 1. Angle 1 measures 100 degrees. Now, measure angle 5. Angle 5 measures 80 degree. Now, you see that angle 1 is not equal to angle 5. Similarly, if you measure angle 2 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 7 and angle 4 and angle 8, you will observe that none of the pairs of the corresponding angles are equal. Measure angle 4 and angle 6, measure angle 3 and angle 5, you will also observe that the alternate interior angles are also not equal. Let us see what has happened to the pair of the interior angles on the same side of the transversal. The sum of angles on the same side of the transversal will also not come out to be 180 degrees. So, we can verify that when a transversal intersects two non-parallel lines, none of the pairs of angle come out to be equal. Let us try to verify another property when two straight lines intersect each other at a point. Measure angle 1 and measure angle 3. You will observe that they are equal. Similarly, measure angle 2 and angle 4 to find that this pair of angles is also equal. These pairs of angles are called the vertically opposite angles. Thus, we get two pairs of vertically opposite angles when two lines intersect at a point. So, weren't these activities interesting? In the next episode, we will perform some more activities using the same plastic strips. Till then, take care and goodbye.